Games Room of the Year 2017, and we are back with Randall's Tavern and Simon uh, in Barnstable. So, Simon, great to be back. Yeah, thank you very much. Lovely to see you again. Thank you very much for having us. Um, so, congratulations. So, first off, congratulations for being a finalist again this year. Um, so, it's my first time down here in Randall's Tavern, and it's amazing, to be honest with you. So, I won't steal all your thunder, um, but there's been some new additions this year. Yes, we. Uh, it's an ongoing thing. It, obviously, nothing stops when you, you've it's been 20 years getting this far with collecting. We've, um, we're not going to stop now. We've got Strike Master, which is an American uh, pinball shuffleboard game, which is, goes down yeah, a real, real uh, dream. It's a cracking game. Uh, probably won't, one of only a couple in the country. Um, we've got uh, out in the beer garden, we've got another rocker ride, um, Spotty the Dog. To give Trigger a bit of company. Trigger was getting a bit lonely out there on his own, so yeah. we got Spotty. So we've got that one. We've got um, the pinball. Um, Corvette Pinball, which is a beautiful machine that had been in private hands for about 20 years. Yeah. So it is really is immaculate, lovely machine. Uh, that gets a lot of use. A um, couple of one-armed bandits, obviously a lot more brewer on here, and, and, and people are still donating bits and pieces from the, the brewing uh, yeah. industry and drinks industry over the last five or six decades. So we're still collecting all of that stuff, as you could uh, imagine, which is where it started many years ago. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's amazing, because I, I, I said, it's my first time here. So... You'd be forgiven, I think, for thinking that you are actually in a bar. That's a lot. A lot of people get that impression. Yeah. They feel um, we've probably got one of the best stocked bars um, that I've ever been to. Talk to me about the gin collection. We're we're well north of eighty, probably nearer ninety different gins mm. from around the world. Uh, a lot of people come up. Um, we do a lot of charity events. They may come up and bring a bottle and this that, and the other. So uh, it's a lovely little hobby to try and get me off of the real ale, which yeah. I was passionate about. Yeah. I was putting too much weight on. So we went over to the gin, uh, and it's beautiful. Just do the gin tastings, playing with different tonics, with different uh, accompaniments. Uh, it, it's a great little hobby. So yeah. we've got a lovely collection there that we do um, tap into every now and again. Another have a little play with so I'm new to this so as someone who's just walked in here for the first time spent a good hour or so in your company having a look around it's a real labor of love this isn't something that you said right I've got a stash of money I want all this stuff I want it all immediately make it happen like there's a yeah. story behind the floor there's a story behind all the memorabilia and the kind of neons etc on the yeah. on the walls yeah most most stuff has been um reclaimed it's been you know this bar come out of a pub in, in south Moulton. the floor came out of a nightclub yeah. over in biddyford and i probably bought that 15 odd 20 years ago and it's yeah. just been in storage waiting for all this to happen yeah. so how long would you say it's taken for you from start to finish how long would you say it's taking you to, to get this done? Um, well, first of all, it's ne never finished. It's okay. not a project. I've so, got another uh, question about that in a minute, but so, go on. Um, so, it's, you know, it will never be finished because it's what I do, it's what I love, uh, and uh, collecting the stuff, repairing it, getting mm -hmm. it. So, um, But we actually started the actual build, digging digging the, the, um, the, digging the soil to yep. build it. Uh, just the turn of the century I think it was 2000 wow. um, something like that um, but the planning had gone in two or three years before and there was other, other things that had to happen yeah so you know it's it has been sort of 20 years in the making yeah I think the planning went in probably 20 years ago and that and that's um, the feel so you can feel that so the camera probably won't pick it up us talking about it probably won't pick it up but what really strikes home is the the amount of time that I think you've invested into it and I think you guys have done an amazing job of creating that real wow of, you know, I'm actually in a bar. I think that's the biggest compliment you can get when someone says, have you got a liquor license for all this kind of stuff? And you say, well, no, because you're in my house. You're, yeah. just, you're just in my home. It's, you're in my home. It's private. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it, I, we consider it the most private of public houses you'll ever go into. Yeah, I, I agree. It's only uh, close friends that come up. Yeah. And it's people that I obviously trust and, and whatever. We do have family days and uh, charity days. But it would be charity days that would be likes of members of uh, Round Table yeah. or 41 Club or Rotary or something like that. So they're people that are known for their you know being decent people to yeah. start with to be fair uh, so we have we have no trouble whatsoever okay so my last question is what would you add so you kind of said that it's a, a labor of love and I get that what what would you add to your, your kind of area now we've got uh, we're looking to do an outdoor we've got an outdoor um, barbecue area yep. which is uh, got a commercial char grill and that sort of stuff in to do um, summer barbecues that sort of stuff my wife did up come up with a lovely idea because we've got a quite a quite a garden at the front at the other end but she came up with this lovely idea of uh, building a victorian 
uh, pier yep. down the garden and then put an amu- amusement arcade at the back. I which agree. I, I, I think thought we should do would be it. a fantastic idea, but uh, as this has taken 20 years to get this far, yeah. I don't know whether one it's step actually, at a time. One step at a time. That's what it is. You know, some of this stuff has been in storage for for, for decades before it's of course, yeah. used. Yeah. I've got other stuff in storage, pinball machines that I picked up. 15 plus years ago, um, yep. 1960s stuff that electromechanical that needs restoring, but I'm, I'm you know I'm learning about that slowly. Good. So, so there's a lot more stuff that I you know I want and I'll continue with. So good. Um, well, yeah. you, you guys should be very proud. I'm sure you are, but you should be immensely proud because I think it's an amazing game show. I think you've done a great job over the years. Thank you. It's got a really good feel of history and collection and enthusiasm. You know, if you walked around it having not known, you'd say whoever owns here is very passionate, very proud, and very dedicated. And I think that comes across. You've done a great yeah. job. So, mate, thank you very much for having us again. That's all right. From all the team at Home Leisure Direct, we wish you all the best in the well, finals. Thank you very much. Hopefully, third time lucky. Come on, but, uh, let's see if we can do it. Yes, you know who to vote for, Simon Randall. There we go. Thank you. Have a great one. Cheers. Enjoyed having you here. Thank you.